the requirements that an exporter go through for official inspection and certification of fresh fruits and vegetables and the pack house. Under the World Trade Organization Agreement, we are also required as a country to set our own standards. But we always align our standards to the IPPC. And we have a number of these standards called ISPMs that we follow when we are doing legislations as far as SPS is concerned. Uh, in order to work in this business, you must have a certified pack house. There are a number of processes that you go through. One of it is that your pack house should be audited by the NPPO of Uganda. Uh, in so doing, they want to see whether the pack house meets their standards. We are fresh fruits and vegetable exporters. Our major markets are in the EU and the Middle East. And we deal in a, in a number of fruits and vegetables, including garden eggs, avocado, okra, chilies, hot pepper, coquiam, uh, and Matoke. We deal with a number of farmers who are scattered throughout the country, but mainly concentrating with the farmers who are in the central and western Uganda. And we have, we are connected with over a hundred farmers who are scattered throughout the country. When we receive a consignment, an order from our customer abroad, Immediately the agronomist is dispatched off to go to the field in the place of production. Those places of production are the ones that are commissioned by the ministry. So when the agronomist sees that that garden meets the phytosanitary status and meets the NPPO regulations, the farmer is given a go-ahead to do harvest the crops. Once product is received at the park house, field forms are verified. That those include the spray records, the scouting and the harvest slips. Product is checked to verify the SPS status of the products. It is weighed and when it complies, it's taken into the pack house where sorters are guided on what to sort out. We look at uh, pest if it's there. If it's not there, then they continue and fill inspection two forms. We have a sorting, a sorting and we have a dam. Then we have Marilisa, then after we tumara kubisoting umurundo go kubiri nibabe weyinga we bamara kubi weyinga no tubiteka ku side ngatutuna bakubisaba then we tumara ukubiteka ku side nturindira inspector bwabaze after the inspection two is filled, the quality controller checks out the inspection three status. That includes the phyto and the, the phyto status and uh, the quality. The product is then weighed, put in the cold room, labeled. After that, we apply for a FITO in the gen system where NPPO is notified. The inspector checks the product. The park house and truck inspection forms are filled and the truck is released to the airport. What they sort, they put into the green crate. And what is rejected is put into the red crate. When stage two is done, the produce is now forwarded at stage three. At stage three, the QC comes to verify the produce to verify from the documentation at the stage two, the traceability. We do 
record these things to maintain traceability to know where the produce is coming from. Traceability, we integrate bo it both for back and forward in order to know where the produce, wh where is the problem coming from. Is the problem coming from the farmer or is it coming from the sorters? At that stage, after all is well and uh, consignment is ready, then we apply for a phytosanitary certificate and then the NPPO is notified of the readiness of the consignment. Once the notification is received by the NPPO, the designated agricultural inspector responds to the notification. And if all is well, he or she then proceeds for physical inspection of the produce, that is fresh fruits and vegetables, for compliance while basing on ISPM number 31. To maintain the greenhouses, we have to we have to make sure that there is no host plant for the caterpillar, like any dodos, any greens, any weeds which is available on the bed or under the bed, inside the greenhouses or around the greenhouses. That is most most important to be maintained. No host plant to be available in and outside the greenhouse. And every hectare we have a 15 to 20 delta traps to check the presence flies and the presence uh, caterpillar flies in the greenhouses. And every hectare we have a uh, 50 molasses maintaining inside the greenhouse to check the flies. And then, and also the outside the greenhouses also, we have uh, around the greenhouses four to five delta traps and five to 10 molasses to check the flies. When the flies reach the park house, they receive that uh, point that we call reception. And that reception is our first control point. The flowers come with the, each bucket having a label indicating the greenhouse and the bed where the flowers are harvested. At reception, that's inspection one, we check the flowers for overall quality. We have a set of scouters, around 14 people, that check for pests, diseases and other quality issues. Once that is done, then those flowers are uh, labeled. They are labeled with uh, red, with yellow pegs. The ones that are uh, not checked, we label them with red pegs and they are taken to the prechilla. The ones that are checked, we label them with the yellow pegs and are delivered to inspection or control point number two, which is right in the grading hall. At inspection two or control point two, again, the flowers are checked or inspected by a set of 14 to 18 scouters that as well check for the person, diseases and other quality issues. Once they are satisfied that the, 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 the stems are of the quality that's desired, they again change the label from yellow to green. All the, all the flowers in the back that are having green tags are thereafter taken either to the greenhouse, I mean to the prechilla, or they introduce the bunches in the grading hall for processing. During the processing, the flowers are uh, measured according to length, then they are bundled in the craft paper. On each craft paper, again, the flowers are traced by putting uh, the code the code of uh, the greenhouse where the flowers came from and the code of the buncher. Once that is done, the recorder counts the, the, the bunches and places those bunches on the conveyor to be delivered to inspection or control point number three. At control point number three, again, the, the stems which are now in the croft, the whole croft is removed, then the flowers again are unchecked by a set of scouters. Then you have another control point that is control number point four. Before the flowers reach the code room, there's a one scouter who picks at random bunches from the trolley and again inspects for the quality issues. Once they're satisfied that the, the stems are okay, the buds are fine, then those stems are again wrapped, introduced to the guillotine where they're trimmed and they're placed into a bucket containing possible solution and delivered to the final cold room. Here, 
I'm doing one of my duties of uh, inspecting uh, roses, flowers destined uh, for export. We inspect flowers using ISPM uh, 31. The flowers are destined uh, for export in the different markets. Some of the flowers are destined for the EU. Some of flowers are destined to the non-EU countries and uh, all of them have different uh, requirements that we are obliged to uh, comply. The flowers have to be free from pest and it should be homogeneous, meaning that uh, the shipper presents a specific number of boxes that he has for a specific shipment. And this varies with uh, the different days of shipment. So. If presented with a specific number of boxes, there's a number I pick to sample that gives me a picture of how the shipment is. Once the phytosanitary certificate is issued, then the exporter shall be allowed to load the produce on a, a truck and then the produce is headed to the exit point of the country, which can be the airport, that is Entebbe International Airport, or any other exit point. Mm -hmm.